What's up everyone, and welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Today, we're diving into a topic that gets me seriously fired up, how to make money during earnings season. That's right, those few weeks every quarter when companies rip back the curtain and show us what they're really made of. Now, before we jump into the 15 strategies I've got lined up for you, remember this isn't about getting rich quick. There's no magic formula, and these are just ideas to get you started. You need to do your own research, understand the risks, and maybe even talk to a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This is about understanding how to use earnings season to potentially boost your portfolio. We're talking about analyzing company performance, understanding market sentiment, and making calculated moves. It's about being prepared, being strategic, and maybe just maybe coming out ahead. So buckle up, grab your notebooks, and get ready to level up your investing game. Let's dive into 15 ways to potentially profit from earnings season. First up is earnings day trading. Now this strategy is not for the faint of heart. It's all about capitalizing on the intense price volatility that happens on the day a company releases its earnings report. Think of it like surfing, except instead of waves, you're riding the unpredictable swings of the stock market. Now, one company that's known for its wild earnings day rides is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Remember, this is just a hypothetical example. We're not saying to go out and buy Amazon stock. But imagine you bought Amazon right before their earnings announcement and they absolutely crushed it. Revenues up, profits are soaring the whole nine yards. Boom, the stock price skyrockets. But, and this is a big but, if Amazon misses its earnings estimates, even by a little bit, look out below. The stock could plummet faster than you can say two-day shipping. That's why this strategy is best left to experienced traders who can handle the heat and react quickly to news and price movements. Remember, timing is everything here. This is high risk, potentially high reward trading. You need to be laser focused, have a solid trading plan, and be prepared to get out quickly if things don't go your way. And hey, if you enjoy living on the edge, why not subscribe to our channel? Because let's be honest, you probably need a good laugh after all that stress. Let's move on to strategy number two, options trading on earnings. Options can magnify your profits by leveraging price swings around earnings announcements. One popular strategy is using straddles or strangles. You're betting on a big move in either direction. Tesla often sees big swings after earnings, but remember, options trading is risky you could lose your entire investment. Proceed with caution and consider consulting a financial professional. All right, so you're ready to level up your earnings season game. Let's talk about earnings momentum trading. It's about identifying companies with big stock price swings after earnings reports. When a company smashes earnings estimates, it creates a ripple effect. This can create powerful upward momentum. Finding these momentum rockets requires research. Look for companies with a consistent track record of beating earnings estimates. Now let's dive into swing trading pre-earnings, a strategy where you're essentially trying to predict the future, but with a little more data and a lot less crystal ball. The basic idea here is to analyze a company's prospects leading up to its earnings announcement and take a position based on your expectations. Are you sensing a positive buzz around a company's new product launch? Have they been dropping hints about a killer quarter in their recent communications? These could be signs that the market is underestimating their earnings potential creating an opportunity for savvy swing traders. Of course, this strategy requires careful research and risk management. You need to be comfortable with the possibility of being wrong, as even the most thorough analysis can't predict the future with 100% certainty. That's why it's crucial to set stop-loss orders to limit potential losses if the trade moves against you. One company that's known for its potential to make big moves pre-earnings is NVIDIA. Their dominance in the gaming and data center markets often leads to heightened anticipation and speculation ahead of their earnings releases. This can create volatility and potential opportunities for swing traders who can accurately gauge market sentiment and the company's trajectory. Ever notice how some stocks keep moving in the same direction even after their earnings are released? That's the beauty of post-earnings announcement drift, or PAD. The market doesn't fully digest earnings reports right away, leading to gradual price adjustments. 
investors continue processing information, causing a gradual shift in stock price. This drift can happen in both directions, offering profit opportunities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because who doesn't love getting notifications about earnings season? It's like Christmas, but with more spreadsheets. Now, if you're like me, you love the idea of making money while you sleep. That's where dividend-paying stocks come in. See, when you invest in solid companies that also pay dividends, you're essentially getting paid just to hold on to their stock. It's like owning a rental property that actually sends you a check every quarter. And during earnings season, you can potentially find some great deals on companies that are about to increase their dividends. Take Johnson & Johnson, for example. They've been consistently increasing their dividend for something like 60 years in a row. That's the kind of stability and long-term growth potential you want to see. So, during earnings season, keep an eye out for companies with a strong track record of earnings growth and dividend increases. Because those dividends can really add up over time, especially when you reinvest them. All right, this next one's not for the faint of heart, but it can be a powerful strategy during earnings season short selling. Now, I'm not talking about shorting your buddy five bucks. I'm talking about shorting stocks. Essentially, you're betting that a company's stock price is going to go down. You're borrowing shares, selling them at the current price, and hoping to buy them back later at a lower price when you return them. Let's say a company like, hypothetically, AT&T is facing some headwinds and you anticipate a disappointing earnings report. Shorting their stock could be a way to potentially profit from that decline. However, remember, short selling is extremely risky. You're potentially exposed to unlimited losses if the stock price goes up instead of down. Make sure you do your due diligence and understand the risks before attempting this strategy. Now, maybe you're thinking, I don't have time to research individual stocks during earnings season. Well, I get it. That's where ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, come in handy. ETFs allow you to invest in a basket of stocks with a single purchase, providing instant diversification. And during earnings season, you can leverage sector-specific ETFs to gain exposure to industries that are expected to perform well. For example, if you're bullish on the tech sector, you could consider investing in XLK, the Technology Select Sector Spider Fund. This ETF holds major tech players like Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, allowing you to benefit from their collective earnings growth without having to pick and choose individual stocks. It's a more hands-off approach to potentially cash in on earnings season. Now let's talk about a strategy that's all about digging deeper fundamental analysis. Look, earnings season isn't just about quick trades. It's a goldmine of information you can use to uncover undervalued companies with rock-solid fundamentals. Remember, earnings reports aren't just numbers, they're a glimpse into a company's financial health. Think of it like this. You're not just buying a stock, you're buying a piece of a business. So, you want to make sure that business is in good shape. That means digging into the earnings report, looking at things like revenue growth, profit margins, and cash flow. Are they consistently exceeding expectations? That's a good sign. Take Alphabet, for example. They consistently crush earnings estimates, and their financials are incredibly strong. Their dominance in search and digital advertising gives them a wide economic moat, making them a potentially attractive long-term investment. But remember, do your own due diligence, analyze their earnings reports, understand their competitive landscape, and see if it aligns with your investment goals. Because at the end of the day, fundamental analysis is about understanding the true value of a business, and earnings season gives you the raw data you need to make informed decisions. Don't just chase hype. Look for companies with strong earnings and a bright future. Now, if you're like me, you're always on the lookout for companies positioned for long-term growth. That's where investing in growth stocks comes in. These companies reinvest in themselves and grow their earnings impressively. Earnings season is your crystal ball, showing which companies are excelling. Take Adobe, for instance. Their subscription model has led to consistent revenue and earnings growth. Remember, investing in growth stocks is a marathon, not a sprint. Look for companies that can compound your returns year after year. All right, let's dive into a more advanced strategy that can be particularly interesting during earnings season pairs trading. 
Now, this strategy involves identifying two companies in the same industry with historically correlated stock prices. The idea is to capitalize on short-term deviations in their performance. Here's how it works. You go long on the stock you believe is poised to outperform its competitor based on earnings expectations and simultaneously short the weaker player. Essentially, you're hedging your bets, aiming to profit from the relative performance difference between the two, regardless of whether the overall market is up or down. Let's say you're analyzing the beverage industry. You might consider going long on Coca-Cola while shorting PepsiCo if you believe Coke is better positioned for earnings growth based on factors like new product launches or international expansion. Of course, thorough research and risk management are absolutely crucial here. Pairs trading is not for the faint of heart. It requires careful analysis, understanding market dynamics, and managing your risk effectively. But when executed correctly, it can be a powerful tool to potentially generate profits during earnings season. Just remember, thorough research and a deep understanding of both companies are paramount. Analyst reports can seem confusing, but don't worry. You don't need to be a Wall Street hotshot to understand them. Analysts predict company performance using data. Think of them like financial fortune tellers with spreadsheets. These reports help you decide which stocks to buy or sell. But remember, not all analysts are equal. Some are accurate, others not so much. Do your own research and don't follow the herd. Websites like TipRanks rank analysts based on performance. Always do your own due diligence and invest wisely. Earnings season can feel like a whirlwind of information. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose. That's why it's crucial to have a system in place. And that's where earnings watch lists come in. Think of it like your own personal stock market command center. Creating an earnings watch list is super simple. You can use a spreadsheet, a financial website, or even just a notepad. Start by listing the companies you're interested in. Then, note down their upcoming earnings announcement dates and times. You can find this information on the company's investor relations website or financial news sites. An earnings watch list lets you stay organized and focus your research. By knowing when companies are reporting, you can prioritize your time and energy. This way you won't be caught off guard and can make informed trading decisions. For example, if you're following the tech sector, add companies like Meta Platforms Inc. to your watch list. By tracking their earnings announcements, you can stay ahead of the curve and capitalize on price swings. Remember, knowledge is power, and an earnings watch list is your key to unlocking that power. Now, let's talk about sector rotation, a strategy where you shift your investments into different sectors based on which ones are expected to outperform. Think of it like catching the wave before it crests. You're looking for sectors poised for strong earnings growth, driven by economic trends or industry-specific factors. For example, let's say energy prices are soaring, and analysts predict a strong earnings season for energy companies. You might consider increasing your exposure to the energy sector through an ETF like XLE, the Energy Select Sector Spider Fund. This allows you to participate in the potential upswing of the entire sector. Remember, timing is key with sector rotation. You want to get in early when the momentum is building and be ready to rotate out when the sector's performance starts to wane. Keep a close eye on economic indicators, industry news and analyst reports to identify sectors with strong earnings potential. Remember, diversification is still important. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, even if you're bullish on a particular sector. Spread your investments across different sectors to manage risk and maximize your chances of success. By strategically rotating your portfolio, you can potentially capitalize on the cyclical nature of the market and boost your overall returns. For all you chart lovers out there, combining technical analysis with earnings data can be a powerful tool during earnings season. Think of it like adding another layer of analysis to your decision-making process. You're not just looking at past price movements. You're incorporating the fundamental picture painted by earnings reports. For example, let's say you're looking at AMD, a semiconductor company known for its volatility around earnings. You notice a bullish chart pattern forming, suggesting potential upward momentum. Then, AMD releases a blowout earnings report, beating analyst expectations and raising guidance. This combination of positive technicals and strong fundamentals creates a potentially lucrative trading opportunity. By 
by using technical indicators like moving averages, support and resistance levels, and momentum oscillators, you can identify potential entry and exit points for your trades. Remember, technical analysis is all about probabilities, not certainties. It's just one piece of the puzzle. By combining it with earnings data, you can make more informed trading decisions and potentially increase your chances of success during earnings season. There you have it, Elite Minds. 15 powerful ways to potentially profit during earnings season. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more you understand about earnings and the factors that drive stock prices, the better equipped you'll be to navigate this exciting time in the market. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Remember, financial freedom and wealth creation are within your reach. It's all about taking action, being consistent and making smart decisions. Stay motivated, stay hungry, and enjoy the journey to financial success.